Hall of Famer, Mr. WrestleMania, Mr. Shawn Michaels. Sir, how are you? And thank you so much for the time. I'm doing great. Yeah, well, as look, as always, as I just said, yeah, thank you all for having me. Appreciate the, the help that you guys are always giving us in the sport. Uh, my pleasure to be here. Well, we also love well, the show. I got to care. I cover it every Wednesday, and you're doing a phenomenal job. Uh, so is all the talent. Uh, I love it. I love the fact that you are, I mean, we all say this, you're Mr. WrestleMania, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, and you're cultivating the next generation, and we see your imprint uh, in the industry and uh, just thank you for it because it's it's a big part of what's making this entire week uh, coming up for WrestleMania something special yeah well look as I told you guys before I'm, I'm having a great time doing this uh, it's it is as you know Tommy this stuff it's it, it's in you and it's in you and so uh, and this is this is what certainly for the you know our young men and women we don't get out of Florida that much uh and, you know, these PLEs and certainly during WrestleMania weekend uh, is huge for them. Uh, we were all just actually at a big meeting yesterday with all the talent going. Um, so much to do. As you guys, we were just talking about off off air, you know, just a, a busy week for everybody. It makes for our young superstars. It makes you feel like they're finally they're in the they're in the business. They're doing it and they're busy and they're running around uh, and then culminating it, obviously, with stand and deliver on. On Saturday afternoon, it's going to be an exciting weekend for us, and obviously, everybody in NXT is is uh, as the kids say today, stoked about going. This, this next <laughs> well, there's a lot to be excited about, and a lot to talk about when it comes to stand and deliver coming up on Saturday. Uh, bell time, eleven thirty, so it's going to be an early show before we get to night number one. It's going to be uh, streaming exclusively on Peacock as well, and. The two people, and it's confirmed, it's Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes in the main event. And Trick and Carmelo have been on Busted Open many, many times. And Sean, what I love about both those guys is they are like sponges. As much success of that, that they have had in NXT, you could tell that even when they come on this show, Sean, it's amazing. They'll ask Tommy questions. They'll ask Bully questions. They'll ask more questions. You could tell they want to learn. They must make for the best students because as big as they've become, and here they are, you know, main eventing a show like Stand and Deliver, it seems like they still want to learn. They, they absolutely do. And they, it is. They have been uh, a joy, as Carmelo's said many times. Uh, he and I hit it off right off the bat. And I'm telling you, uh, after the last, uh, you know, half a year, year, uh, the trick has been on the rise um, since he walked into my office and said, you know, I want my, I want to give it a shot. I want to get, I want my, my, my shot. And he's just one of the hardest workers. I, I, I do. I, I dearly love both those two young men uh, with all my heart. They have been fantastic. They're a joy uh, to the coaches and not just me to everybody uh, in NXT at the performance center. And, and obviously have earned uh, this spot. At, rest, uh, at WrestleMania, uh, at Stand and Deliver, you know, as the main event, this is the the deepest, most passionate, uh, most intriguing storyline in NXT, and I would I would argue in NXT history, and this is wow. so deserving of the main event, and these two guys, uh, I don't know, uh, earned it every step of the way, and I'm 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 happy that they're getting this opportunity. When uh, I first saw them together, I said, this is a, a a newer version of HBK and Diesel. Here's the guy who can is a great in-ring performer and a bigger guy. Because, I mean, if you remember back in the day, people used to say you were too small. You were a tag team wrestler and not given that opportunity. And I love the growth of both of these performers. When did you have that envision of putting them together that way, or was that somebody else? No, look, we we definitely uh, had the vision of putting them together. It was it was one of those. They were just uh, you could see it um, just in their interaction. Um, and look, at the beginning, it was it was sort of putting a more experienced guy with with a guy that we knew had promise. You can just see it <laughs> in Trick Williams, obviously. Um, but then those two, uh, much like Kevin and I, they just became friends and you know, it, the chemistry was so natural from the get-go um, and to your point Tommy it has it really has uh, without us trying it has so mirrored what Kevin and I did go through um, and but I'll say this they 
Uh, and it'll probably bother Kevin, but, <laughs> but they are way cooler uh, than Kevin and I. Um, although, again, mostly on my part, Kevin always could pull off the coolness. I, uh, mine was clearly an act start to finish. But these two, uh, you know, they ooze uh, charisma. Um, and again, they're, they're dynamic together. They, they played off each other well. And to be perfectly honest, th there was a time I just never wanted to see them apart um and 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 maybe hoping that you know if this day were to happen that we're going through now would happen it would you know happen much later down the road but uh you know trick was a guy that was chomping at the bit to get out there and to prove himself um and we gave him that opportunity and now you know uh he's enjoyed it and of course carmelo in all of this it's tough i've, I've been that guy as well when you're the guy that's Again, clearly who, who you feel is the guy that's put everybody on the map. But then all of a sudden, this other guy starts getting a, a bit more of your shine, you know, than, than you're used to. And it's it's something that you're happy for them. But at the same time, you're saying, what about me? Um, and so this is a fantastic dynamic because uh, so much of it mirrors real life. Uh you know, as you know, Tommy, we, you know, we have friends in this line of work, but we're all scrambling. There's only one number one spot, right? Um, and when it comes to friends, uh, it tests that friendship. And that's something that's going on with uh, Trick and Carmelo right now. And like I said, it's all going to come culminate at Stand and Deliver uh, on Saturday, April 6th. And it's going to be exciting because these boys have got the, the highlight that they wanted, being in the main event. Um, and we're all going to sit there and, and watch it and enjoy it. You know, Sean, and I've said this to you before, and I'm not just saying it because you're a guest here. Tommy will tell you I say it each and every Wednesday morning here on Busted Open. I feel that NXT is the best pro wrestling show of the week when it comes to storylines, character development, personality. You know, each and every wrestler is presented a certain way on the show, which helps them. I mean, a perfect example, you have so many stars coming off a Tuesday night that's not even going to be able to be on this show at stand and deliver. Um, but when you look at that and you look at the character development, Roxanne Perez is another one, the change in personality that she has. How much of an emphasis have you put on, you know, storylines, characters, and personalities with NXT? Well, I, just as you say, a, a ton, because look, I'll say this. One of the things, again, certainly we have some experienced people, um, but not to the level of experience, again, of Raw, SmackDown, or any other wrestling show out there. We're not going to, we've only got a few people that are going to be able to go out there and, uh, you know, on their first two weeks in the business, give you, give you 20 minute bangers, you know. So obviously, you know, character development, helping them uh, establish those characters um, and storylines are going to be a key part of NXT because it's so. Uh, foundational, uh, you know what I mean? As we're as we go forward, that's some of the things you have to put in place uh, in any show or television show or movie. You've got to establish who these people are, and so obviously that's something that we uh, have the ability to do. Especially that's one of the advantages to being in Orlando, to being in the same place. Um, that allows us the opportunity to do things that not other people can do when they're traveling every week. So. You know, it's a huge emphasis, obviously, um, but, uh, you know, you have to give a ton of credit to the young talent uh, because it's very collaborative. What we do, uh, you know, take a lot of what they say into consideration. Uh, we work with them because, as you know, Tommy, and, and look, you, look, you know as well, um, is that if it's something that comes from within, that it's not too far from who you really are, it's going to work a hell of a lot better. Um, and so getting to know these young men and women uh, and who they are is a huge part of that. And that's something that we're able to establish because we all spend so much time together. Yeah. And I think the perfect example of it and working in a big way is Tony D'Angelo. Tony D'Angelo has only been, you know, basically for a cup of coffee, but the way that he's been able to develop that character to the point where now he's in a NXT championship match at a major show at Stand and Deliver. That's kudos to everybody involved in NXT because he's presented as such a big star that the fans are now buying into the fact that he's in a major match at Stand and Deliver. Yeah, well, and again, and Tony is, you know, he's somebody that uh, from the beginning, he jumped in uh, 
just all the, you know, 110% into that character has done a fantastic job. I got to be honest with you, the things that worry me about Tony D'Angelo uh, is somebody from Hollywood giving, <laughs> giving, <laughs> giving him a call and losing him to, you know, play the next uh, mob boss for somebody because he does such a, a fantastic job. And the family has grown, um, obviously. And so, again, I, I, I appreciate the fact that 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 you all recognize um, you know, the character development, the, you know, the emphasis on storyline, because as you know, Tommy, that's one of the most enjoyable things about the job is the creative behind the scenes. And so, uh, it not just makes it fun, uh, for, you know, the superstars, but for those of us that are behind the scenes, uh, it's a blast to be a part of. Yeah. You see your children grow to be the next generation WWE superstars. Uh, I also, you know, comment about how many women, are on the show and also positive female representation on the show. I mean, I always say, man, it's very women centric at times because you have so many talented women. I feel like the women are surpassing most of the guys because of how quickly they're evolving and almost getting it. Um, yeah. For you, how is that mix and hard to like juggle? Because I mean, you you're old school in the sense of there's only so many spots on the card. So how hard is that for you to juggle that? Well, I got to be honest. It's actually pretty darn easy because, as you said, the the women are so uh, advanced and are, are getting it so quickly. And I'll, I'll say this because it was something that we had, a, you know, as, as we moved to CW this October, that we were speaking about in a meeting with all of them because they, they were very – you know, of, appreciative of 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 that and the diversity that that uh, NXT has, and I told them very honestly. I said, I ha I have to be honest. What makes our job so enjoyable is that we don't have to try to make that happen. It happens just naturally because we're going with uh, the most talented people or the most advanced characters or the best storylines, and those things almost take care of themselves. It is, you know, there are times that we're looking you know, at our 11 segments on, on a Wednesday after television and for the next week and looking at it going, that's almost all ladies <laughs> in, in every segment. And, and, and again, it's almost, we have to, we have more trouble having to move a couple of things to, 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 to get our men in there. And, and, and I mean that, you know, in, in no way, you know, offensive to our guys, they're doing a fantastic job, but we're, we're very fortunate behind the scenes that, uh, we have so many to choose from. Our women's division is so deep and those young ladies are so talented and those young college athletes are just getting it so quickly. And, and that's the thing that I guess uh, I think is so, I think positive, certainly about uh, the WWE and this business going forward is that it, there's a lot of real uh, phenomenal potential talent uh, coming through NXT um, and there's going to be good representation uh, into the future, uh, you know, certainly from a diversity standpoint, but easily from from the women and the men, uh, because they just they, again, they keep coming. We've got another tryout at, uh, at WrestleMania. And so uh, I got to tell you that the competition makes it pretty amazing down there uh, in, in, in Orlando, you know, for us to to put together a fantastic show uh, that I think represents everybody equally. Uh, and fairly as, as we go down the line. Uh, Wells Fargo Center, 1130 bell time, start time, exclusively streaming on Peacock, but also if you're in the area in Philadelphia, make sure you catch this show. It's going to be amazing. Stand and deliver coming up Saturday, April 6th. You know, you're Mr. WrestleMania, so I may only have this one opportunity to ask you. Okay, you wouldn't know it by listening to this show or watching our videos on YouTube, but I'm a big Cody Rhodes fan. And Cody Rhodes, night number two, going after that undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Roman Reigns. I mean, I think, have you seen in recent times in the WWE this amount of groundswell for what we've seen for Cody here lately? Here comes The Rock, you know, the biggest box office superstar. He comes back, he thinks he's just going to walk in, take the main event night number two. The fans say, ah, ah. You know, and I put on this pink robe and my hair was disheveled <laughs> the next day on the air and I went absolutely crazy. But, you know, Cody, we know, listen, we know Cody's going to overcome the obstacles. He's going to win the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. What's that moment like? You you know, you fell to your knees holding on to that championship. Time. What is that moment like when you win that championship? 
Well, it's it's when it's it's all real. Again, it's 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 the industry recognizing you as as the guy that's I don't know at, again that's going to be carrying certainly the the the, the biggest most global brand, you know global brand in the world. Um, and I'll say this: certainly, guys from my era are going to give you the rock and Austin. Uh, but I do have to say what Cody has done um, over the last year, two years, been pretty amazing because it's done in a, again, what I think a lot of us traditional, uh, you know, baby faces would say that it's really hard and difficult to pull off in this era. And he's done a, a fantastic job of that. So look, it's it, this is this WrestleMania 40 is going to be the biggest WrestleMania of all time. I have no doubt. Um, it's going to be a huge moment if, if Cody can make that happen. But look, um, we've seen before that the, the story doesn't get told, as they say. So um, if it happens, it'll be an absolutely glorious moment for him and a huge recognition uh, recognition of what he's accomplished. Um, but if Roman says it isn't happening <laughs> and he goes out there and Makes that so. It's it's a it's a big hill to climb. Let's just put it that way. Now, just so I can hear this correctly, the the great Mister WrestleMania, the greatest wrestler of all time, one of the greatest storytellers of all time, one of the best baby faces of all time. The story doesn't just have to end if Cody loses, correct? What well, clearly it doesn't. If he moves. And then look, <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, call the hotline. Yeah. The greatest <laughs> is basically agreeing with people except for Dave. Sean, Dave is the original Cody Crybaby. He started all this. He's he's been he went viral because The Rock kind of called him out. He's wow. I love his fandom. I love it, but he he's sometimes blinded by his uh fandom. So well, thank you we all have our favorites. Okay, we all have our favorites. All yeah. right, you know. Wahoo McDaniels could do no wrong in my eyes. Nice. That's right. That's right. I, I still have here, you know, the last battle of Atlanta, Tommy Rich, all bloodied from Buzz Sawyer. This is my inspiration oh, yeah. each and every morning when I go on the air. And you know what, Sean, and I like what you just said because I think now in 2024, people are almost too smart for their own good. Like there's nothing wrong with just sitting back, enjoying it for what it is, and being a fan. And I get I get a lot of crap, believe it or not, because of my fandom. Listen, I am a talk show host that's blessed enough that I get to come on the air and talk pro wrestling every day. That's not lost on me. And I don't think there's anything wrong with just being a fan and enjoying it through a fan's eyes. And that's what I try to do. Yeah, well, look, I do it every Tuesday night as well. Um, and so, again, I, I, I agree with you. Look, and I, again, I think there – I understand there's, you know, there's a lot of uh, – taken side from from the fan standpoint um but i'll say this again me and my buddies have always felt like again we feel like this job is always supposed to be fun uh, and we make it we make it fun um and that's what we do every tuesday night nxt certainly from that standpoint i understand big business and uh making your money and all of that but in nxt we uh we want them to enjoy that experience we want you to enjoy our show every tuesday night and obviously we want you to enjoy stand and deliver on April 6th. So looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. It's going to be a great WrestleMania. And one last question before we let you go. And again, April 6th, 1130 bell time on Saturday at the Wells Fargo Center. Really quick, Sean, before I let you go, just to feel for you, I mean, you're Mr. WrestleMania. You've had your greatest moments, your greatest matches, you know, when it comes to WrestleMania. What's the feel when you get this close? Do you still get that kind of goosebump feeling as you get closer to WrestleMania? It is. It's it's the most exciting. As we were talking about off camera, the, it's just the most exciting week ever. Um, and 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 there's so much going on. Look, I have also look. We have guys again. My you know, uh, Tommaso and Johnny. You know, I, I, there are a lot of my guys. You know, Waller. A uh, number of guys from NXT that are going to uh, have the opportunity to take part in their first WrestleMania. I want to be there to see that. This is what so many of them worked for. Um, so look, there's. Again, this is a this is not just a big weekend for WWE as a you know as a company, uh, but it's big for a number of WWE superstars and NXT superstars because this is their first WrestleMania. And again, for somebody like Cody, again, you know, you know, so many people like and you know, Punk who has come back, something that 
this is a really big weekend because we're going to have a lot of unique and different things going on. A lot of firsts for people. Um, everything that WrestleMania was built on and is supposed to be uh, is is just a week away, and it is going to be absolutely huge. And yeah, no, I'm very excited about it, uh, and and you know can't wait till it happens because the entire weekend uh, is a blast. You're running a hundred miles an hour, but you wouldn't have it any other way. With all that excitement and old school HBK geeing up the crowd like he did, selling great, flipping back that hair, is there one sweet chin music left in the chamber? Uh, well, look, first of all, it have to be without <laughs> flipping of any hair. <laughs> That's for sure, because uh, there isn't much underneath this hat anymore. Um, oh, look, I can still always throw a super kick, easy. Uh, nice. But it's, you know. I got a, I got a lot of single shots left in me, Tommy, but, <laughs> but nothing, you know, nothing, nothing too impressive. That's for sure. All right. Wells Fargo Center. I love you, buddy. It's so great to see Saturday, you. Saturday, April 6th, stand and deliver. And you know, it's Sean, you got me all hyped up. I'm watching Wahoo McDaniel, uh, Magnum <laughs> TA from 1985 for the U S championship after this is over. So thank you, Sean. Thank you so much. Appreciate the time as always. You bet. Thank you guys.